Okay, dokey. So I'll just move me a little bit. And sorry. Okay. Cool. So starting on your backs, I want you lying down and your knees are bent, please. Um, for those that need a prop under their head, so I'll just take you through that again. If your neck is in extension, so if you feel that your neck is kind of lifted up, I want you to prop your head under like a small hand towel, or if you're quite exaggerated through the neck muscles being extended, place a pillow under your head. Your neck should be in a neutral position, so you should have like a 90 degree angle from your chin down to your neck, okay? Um, otherwise, you're putting pressure on your spine and the neck muscles, which will affect your breathing also. So that's the first thing I wanna say. And you leave that under your head unless you're doing a bridge position. So unless the hips are lifted up, otherwise it stays under the head throughout the, the class, okay? So first things first, guys, you can either keep your legs straight on the floor and down if you feel it's too much pressure in your back, place the feet onto the mat, okay? Keep the knees bent, that way your lower back is uh, compressing down and there's no pressure uh, through that lower spine. So hands down by your side, I want you to close your eyes. We're just going to take a moment and we're going to just try and de-stress in the morning that you may have had. If it was a busy morning, getting kids out to school or just working yourself and just trying to bring yourself and your, your mind into this uh, space for the next hour. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so just lie there, close your eyes and we're just going to focus in on our breath. Okay, so you're going to breathe in through the nose. Big breath in. Okay, lifting the rib cage as much as you can. And then exhale, kind of try and control the exhale to like bring it down to a slower exhale than you would as you inhale. So we're gonna breathe in for let's say four seconds, in through the nose, feel the ribs lifting, the stomach lifting. And then as you exhale, control it as like maybe six seconds exhale. So a slower exhale again. Big breath in through the nose, feel the chest rising, stomach rising. And as you exhale, the chest will come down and the stomach. Okay, inhale through the nose, stomach lifts and then your chest will lift. And as you exhale, the chest will come down and then the stomach will flow. Okay, inhaling through the nose, just focusing in on your breath, exhaling. Giving any tension that you may have, re relaxing, shoulders away from the ears, big breath in. Going deeper with each breath, exhale. Inhale through the nose. Go wider with the ribs if you can, and exhale. With the next two breaths, we're going to hold it for a few seconds. Okay, so big breath in, fill the lungs. We're going to hold it for three, two, one, and then we're going to exhale. Same again, please. Big breath in. Hold. And exhale. The next few breaths, just open your eyes. Inhale through the nose. And exhale. Through the mouth. And two more, please. Inhale. And Make sure you're not lifting your shoulders as you breathe in. Keep those shoulders nice and relaxed. And one more, inhale. And exhale. From there, guys, we're going to introduce the arms into the breath work. So we're going to inhale as you reach the arms to the back of the room and lift the ribs and arch your lower back. Okay, I want you to lift your stomach and chest towards the ceiling as you breathe in to get a deeper stretch and a deeper inhale. And then as you exhale, I want you to roll your vertebrae back onto the mat. So as if you've got a, a little ball under your back, you want to squish that ball and bring your arms back down, okay? So we're going to inhale. As you reach your arms behind you, straight arms, I want you to push your lower spine into the mat. So dig that lower part of your spine and lift your chest and your stomach towards the ceiling, arching that back. And then as you exhale, you're bringing your spine onto the mat. Bring your pubic bone higher than your, pelvis, uh, than your hip bones and relax the arms down, okay? Inhale. Again, rolling onto that lower part of your spine, rolling onto the coccyx, good. And then exhale as you bring your spine back onto the mat. Okay, a couple more please. Inhale. 
really lifting that ribs and breathing into those intercostal muscles. Exhale, come down. One more. Inhale to reach. Lengthen through those arms, please. Get a nice stretch in the back. And then exhale to come back down. Great. Okay. Place your hands down by your side. Okay. We're going to inhale to stay. And then on the exhale, we're going to roll into imprint. So for those that are new to the class, again, your lower back, I want you to compress that lower back down onto the mat. So imagine you've got a squishy ball under your lower back and you're pressing down on that ball. Your pubic bone will naturally come higher and your hip bones will go lower than your, than your pubic bone, okay? So we're going to inhale to release the so roll again onto that lower part of your spine. You're lifting that back of yours, arching the lower part of your spine, mid-spine. And then exhale to compress down on that little imaginary squishy ball that you have under your back, okay? Draw the rib cage down so your stomach muscles should be firing up nicely here. Inhale to roll onto that lower spine, lift those hip bones higher than your pubic bone, okay? And then exhale to compress down onto that lower spine, pressing it down onto the mat, okay? Inhale to lift those hip bones higher, lift the chest, lift the stomach. Exhale to imprint. So this is your imprinting as you lower your spine onto the mat, okay? We will work through imprints in certain exercises. Inhale to release. We'll go for a few more, please. Exhale to imprint. Inhale to release. Lift the stomach towards the ceiling. Nice space between your lower back and the mat. Exhale to imprint. Give me one more. Very important to focus on the breath. Inhale to as you lift and release. And then exhale as you imprint. And you compress down the ribs as you exhale. So those rib cages come down towards the pelvis and those stomach muscles should be active. So give yourself a little tap on the stomach and just make sure that they're firing up nicely and the ribs are down and engaged, okay? From here, guys, you're going to bring one leg to tabletop and you're going to bring the other. So you're in imprint and your legs are in tabletop position, all right? We're going to place our right foot down and then our left foot down, okay? Maintaining imprint, not losing it. Lifting that right leg, lifting that left leg. Placing that right leg down and the left leg follows, okay? Not losing imprint, you stay with your lower back, engage with the mat at all times, okay? So as you bring those legs back down, it's quite challenging to maintain that imprint, but hold it. Don't lose it, okay? Good. If that's too much for you, just lift your legs halfway up and bring it down one leg at a time, okay? And then building up to that tabletop position, okay? And keep going, keep moving with this tabletop. Tabletop, lower and lower. Good. Lift, lift, lower and lower. Two more, please. Lift, lift and lower. Good. Last one. Breathing in as you lift and exhaling. To lower. Very good. From there, bring your knees together and your feet together, ankles together. Hands go a little bit wider. And we're just going to spinal rotation. Do a spinal rotation. So we're going to take a breath in, stay. And then as you exhale, bring your knees to the left side of the room. Not the whole way down to the floor. I want halfway between where you were and the floor, okay? We're going to breathe in as you come back to center. So using your oblique muscles to draw you back in a neutral spine. So that's between your imprint and release. So you're not fully, there's a little space between your lower back and the mat. Moving to the right side of the room. Back to center as you breathe in. And again, you have a little space between your lower back and the mat. Don't lock it down fully and then move to the other side. Okay, draw that belly button in as you drive your legs back to the center of the room and then moving to the other side. Good. Coming back to center and then moving to the other side. Lovely. Three more. Two. Last one, back to center, and then moving to the right side, your last side. Very good, and bringing it back to center. From there, just place the pit parts of your hands, the paddle parts of your hands on your hip bones, and your fingers directly down onto the pubic bone, so pointing in that general direction and resting on the top of the pubic bone area. So bringing that right, well, sorry, I want a neutral pelvis, so your pubic bone and hip bones completely level, please, okay? So they should be level. That is a neutral position. From there, you're going to lift your right leg into a tabletop position. All right. We are going to bring the leg up 
out, we're going to circle from the knee. So I want you to visualize a pen sticking out of your knee, and you're going to circle that leg from the hip socket. And we're going to mobilize the hip and get a bit of movement into that uh, socket area. Okay, so we're circling from the hip, visualize a pen sticking out of that knee, and you're drawing nice circles on the ceiling. The smaller the circle, the more control you have. The other leg should not be moving, that other hip should not be moving, and there should be complete core strength going on here to stabilize the pelvis, okay, and the upper body control. Give me one more hold once you get to this point, and then you're going to go the opposite direction, please. Good. Well done. Breathing in for half a circle, exhaling for half a circle. Good stuff. I will check on you on the next, on the other side. Good. Give me two more. One more. Lovely stuff. Bring that leg back and then place the foot down. We're going to go the opposite side. So when you're ready, neutral pelvis. And then bringing that other leg to a tabletop. If you need to work through imprint, you can do that also. Okay. So when you're ready, circling the leg. Go smaller with your circle, Emma. Smaller. Good. Smaller. Smaller. Good, please. Give me three more. Control, too big, uh, Barbara, smaller as well, please. One, that other side, that other hip should not move. Hold and go the opposite way, please. A lot of big circles going on, lads. Bring it smaller. The idea is that the pelvis is controlled and we're drawing circles, not triangles. Good. <laughs> Good, Una, well done. Give me one more, please. Good stuff. Hold the leg when you're ready and place it down. Yeah, good stuff, okay? So I know a lot of you are used to working hardcore in the gym and you like to challenge yourself. Well, you challenge yourself more by keeping control of your pelvis. So that's what we want to focus on, okay? So what was happening there with a lot of you as you were going, I'll show you this side actually, as you were going big circles, but this other hip was lifting and moving. I want to go smaller, abs have to work harder, and no movement going on here. So it takes a bit of focus and control. All right, but you'll benefit more from that. Otherwise, you'll end up with sore back. Okay, feet down. Give a pillow under your head or anything under your head. Take it out at this moment of time. Feet in line with your hips, hands down by your sides. Let's get cracking, take a breath in. Warm up is done, and then we're driving the hips up. Bridge position, please. Okay, engaging all those toes down, shoulders drawn down away from your ears, hips are level. We're going to lower the pelvis back down to the mat. We're not rolling through our spine, we're just literally lifting and lowering the, the pelvis. So hips come up first, and hips come down first. So lifting and lowering. Pelvis is the first thing to meet the mat. Lift, squeeze the glutes, and lower. As you exhale, lower down. Inhale to lift. Exhale to come down. Controlling the situation here. These hips, want to, one wants to go down ahead of the other. Don't let that happen. You want to, want to come down equally. Level. If there was a, a nice flat plank across your pelvis, that should be completely level. Not like a seesaw, okay? You want it level. Good. Up and down. Keep going for four more. Breathing in as you lift, exhale to come down. Good. Last two. One more. Well done. Okay. Just bring your knees into your chest because it can be quite hard on those that might have a little achy back, and we are easing back into this uh, term for the next class or two. So I want you to be all okay, particularly those that are sitting a lot in work. Okay, so from there, guys, we're going to come back into a bridge position. Okay, don't go so high where you're resting on your neck. I want your shoulder blades, so the flat part of your shoulder blades, fully down. So the lower part of your shoulder blades meet in the mat also. So not too high. And if you're suffering with any lower back issues, bring your bum down a little bit lower again. From there, we're going to lift our left leg into tabletop position. All right, and we're literally going to extend and then bring it back into tabletop. Extend. Keep the hips up and bend. So the hips stay where they are. Extend and bend. Good. Controlling, making sure the hips are level. If that's too much, just hold the tabletop. Okay. Anyone that's suffering with any back issues or has any injuries, 
just hold that bent knee position. Okay, two more after this. One more. Lovely stuff. Place that foot down. And we'll just come out of that position again and bring the knees into the chest. And we'll do the other side in a moment. So placing those feet down. Hands by your side. Take a breath in and exhale, coming up this time. Okay. Resting on the lower part of your shoulder blades. Other leg to 90 feet. Make sure your hips are level. So check in with your hands. So place your hands on your hip bones. Extend and bend. And just make sure that they are, they're working equally. If you feel that one side is particularly dropping more than it should, then bring that leg. Just keep it in tabletop. Don't move um, through this exercise. Just hold the tabletop. And if it's still quite bad, then place that foot down and just hold the bridge position. Good. Two. One more. Bend. Hands down by your sides. Take a breath in and lower yourself down onto the mat. Lovely stuff. Knees into your chest, please. Stretch out that lower back. Okay, place the feet back down. Hands behind your head. Here comes the abs, all right? Ready. Elbows back. They should be on the floor, right back. Take a breath in, rest your head into your hands, looking straight up at the ceiling. And on the exhale, just nod the chin a little bit and coming up, looking at your knees. Really use the abs to draw you up. Those hands are just resting there to support your head. They're not pulling on your head. Inhale to lower. Exhale to come up. Inhale to lower down. Exhale to lift. We're coming back over. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. And I want you to move through your breath. So inhale and exhale to lift. Don't pull on the neck. Inhale. Slowly come up with the exhale. Good. Slower than that, Nicola. Inhale. Slow exhale. Slow it down. Good. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Good. Well done, Mary. Inhale, lower. Exhale to lift. So you should be coming up the whole way through that exhale. So it's one smooth move and you breathe as you move. Good. Very good, Barbara. Well done. Well done, lift, well done, Alma. Good stuff, good, Una, excellent. Well done, uh, Katie, just bring your elbows back, please. So don't let them come forward, good. And come on up, there you go. And just don't bring your chin so close to your chest. So lift the chin a little bit, good, there we go, perfect. Two more, please. Well done, better, Katie, good stuff. Once you've done your last one, then bring it back, good stuff. Okay, I'm keeping an eye on you today. Okay, bad habits are creeping in. All right, so from there, take an inhale, and on the exhale, I want you to bring legs to tabletop position, so 90 degrees with the legs. You're in imprint position, so your lower back is flat on the mat. Okay, if you're finding it too difficult to keep that position, bring your knees closer to your upper body. So bring the knees closer rather than away. The further those legs are away, the harder it is. All right? Hands behind the head, elbows back, okay? Take a breath in, and on the exhale, coming again into ab prep position, please. We're gonna lower down slowly as you breathe in. So we are moving with our breath. Exhale, exhale, inhale. So you keep moving. So my, I'm hitting the floor once my ex inhale is finished, and I'm moving all the way through my exhale, coming up. Good. Exhale. So it's a slow, controlled movement. It gets the muscles working quite deep if you work through your breath. Good. If it's too much on your lower back, you can place your feet back down. Two more. One more. Good. From there, guys, rest your head down. Keep your legs in tabletop position. Lock your knees and your ankles together, please. Hands down by your side. We're going to take an inhale here. And on the exhale, bring your knees closer to your chest. As you do this, you're going to push a little bit into the floor with your hands. Lift your lower spine off the mat. And then bring them back just slightly past your tabletop position. If that's too much, don't go so far. Inhale to stay. Exhale to lift. 
Inhale to bring the legs away. And exhale to bring them forward towards your torso. Good. Inhale. Just getting the lower abdominals working. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Well done. And exhale. If this is too much, literally what I want you to do, everybody else keep working through that movement, please, is literally bring the legs forward and back. Okay? Just forward and back. You don't need to lift the spine if it's too much. Literally just shimmy the legs forward and back, okay? We're going for two more, please. Last one. Lovely stuff, well done. We're gonna place the feet down onto the floor, one at a time if you can, or two if you're strong enough, okay? From there, guys, I want a neutral pelvis, all right? Extending your right leg straight and keep the knees parallel. If you need something under your head, again, you can place it under. We're going to circle, so I want you to visualize the pen sticking out of your knee or your foot this time, so your big toe, and we're circling the leg. And again, what I'm saying is don't go big and start moving that body all over the place, locking that pelvis down to the floor. Visualize there's your nail to the floor and you ain't moving. You're absolutely stuck to that floor. Okay, that pelvis on the opposite side is. Staying where it is, circling that leg, please. Draw that root cage down, hold. We're going the opposite way, please, with that leg. Straight legs, I want tension through that thigh. Those quad muscles are firing up nicely. Kneecaps drawn up. Point the toes to get extra tension through that leg. For two, one, hold it there. We're gonna lower and lift, pulsing. For 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, hip flexor should be feeling it now, a little bit, and bend the leg. Bring that knee into your chest and extend the opposite leg, please. So today's class is just about awakening the muscles up again, easing you back into the method of Pilates. Hold that knee towards your opposite shoulder so you're getting a stretch in your glute. And just, as I said, reintroducing you to good habits rather than bad habits, okay? So recapping a little bit, okay? Extending the opposite leg, neutral pelvis, please. So hips and cubic on level, a little arch in that lower back, and we're gonna circle the leg around, okay? Doesn't matter which way, just remember which way you went, so you go the opposite way the next time. Small circles, tension through that thigh, and good control, please. For three, two, one, opposite way, please. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. If you feel your lower back is compressing, it's the mat, go lower with your leg, okay? Hold the leg there, pulsing for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring that knee into your chest and extend the opposite leg. You should feel nicely stretched a little bit and feel the muscles that have been activated. Nothing too stressful today. Bring that knee to opposite shoulder, stretching its glute. Happy stuff. We're doing another ab exercise and then we're rolling onto our side. Okay. This is quite challenging, so I'm going to give a variation for those that are beginners. So if you want to watch for a second, we're going into tabletops. Arms are coming up and really reaching those fingertips towards the ceiling. Now we're going opposite arm, opposite leg. Okay, reaching back, bringing it back up. All right, this is a great one for those that would be into running. Okay, so and the alternative is literally just to hold your arms long and your toe or your legs in tabletop position and just breathing through this movement, okay, for now. Otherwise, you can bring your hands down and just alternate feet, tipping down with your feet, okay? So that's kind of the intermediate, this beginner, and then advanced is opposite arm, opposite leg. Okay, we're gonna start now. When you're ready, three, two, one, and working through it, opposite arm, opposite leg. Intermediate is just literally working with the toes, touching the floor. And then the beginner is holding your tabletop position and reaching your arms towards the ceiling. Or alternatively, you can bring the hands down onto the mat, whatever you feel comfortable. 
but there is an option there for everybody. There's no uh, no um, chancers taking taking time out and coming over to have a look. Keep working through it. Breathing. Gent, straight, uh, keep the leg uh, bent, Emma. So you're not going straight legs. Bent knee all the time. Just reaching with your tippy toes. There we go, better. Well done. Good. Head down, please, Barbara. Rest your head down. Head is down, everybody. Give me two more. Good, one more. Lovely stuff. Hug your knees into your chest, please. Really good. Okay. Hope you're all okay. Okay, we're coming on to our side. And we are doing side plank uh, for 30 seconds. All right. Again, I'm going to give you options. Okay, so you can start with bent knee. And we're coming on to the hand. So that's option one. Or you can go more advanced. Okay. And you can do straight legs onto your elbow. Okay. We're not going onto the hand for straight legs yet, okay? So we're going to start when you're ready. Three, two, one, and come up into side plank position. If you're a complete beginner holding that position, please, everybody else hold. Bend the knees and line your hips, hands slightly forward to your body, coming up and then releasing. Make sure your hand is directly under your shoulder, support yourself, and holding. Good. I'm going to come over and look. Make sure you're all okay for this side. Holding. Breathing. Very good. Well done. That's it, Katie. Well done. That's good. Just check and make sure you're all okay. Holding for another five, four, three, two, one. Slowly relax down and lie down onto your side, please. Bend the knees. Make sure your feet are under your hips, under your backside. Your hips are level, so make sure those hips are stacked. Right hip, if your left side you're lying on, top hip is over the bottom hip, it's not back or forward. Knees are level, and we're gonna go for clams. Ankles are stuck together, opening that top leg away from the bottom leg. Make sure that upper hip doesn't move back, okay? You wanna keep it over the other hip, as I said, and stays in that position. If it starts to move, it means your leg is lifting too high, so don't go so high. So lift and lower, please. Good. Let's be doing 10, but I'm counting in from now. Six left, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to straighten our legs nice and long with both. Okay, if you feel that you're a little bit unstable, you can bend the bottom one. Okay, and we're going to lift that leg in line with your hip. We're going to circle the leg again. A lot of circles going on today. So circling the leg, please, small circles. Draw that pelvis underneath you, so try not to push the chest forward, okay? A little bit of activation through the abs to protect your lower back. Good. And opposite way, please. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold your leg there, please. And little pulses for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Hold. Five, four, three, two, gently place the leg down. Okay, coming back into your side plank, please. The same as what you just did earlier, either bent knees or straight legs. Okay, three, two, one, up you come. Get comfortable. I find if you're in your bare feet, it's easier to bring your top leg forward over your bottom leg. Otherwise, they kind of press into the floor and quite sore. It's easier when you have runners on. Rest your top foot on top of the other. Well, uh, ideally, I would do as far as you. Hips are level, holding, breathing. Good. If you haven't done Pilates in three weeks' time or three weeks with their break, should feel a little bit of a shake going on for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly come down. 
We're going to do a nice little mermaid stretch. So if you're lying on your left side, bring your left leg in front of your right. Okay? If you're lying on your right side, right leg in front of left. Okay? And reaching towards your right side with your left arm. Just have a nice stretch along that side. Mermaid stretch is gorgeous. Well done. Breathing. Hold for five, four, three, two, and relax. Bam. We're going to do our other side, so rolling off the opposite side, starting with our side plank. Okay, give you a moment. Three, two, one. Ready up you come, please. Top leg in front. Find it good. And what it does also is it kind of brings that top hip forward if you tend to bring it back. Holding, breathing. If you want to reach that arm, you up to the ceiling, you can. Uh, on your side, you can. Find the earth a little bit unstable. Reach down every now and again just to hold yourself up. If something doesn't feel right though, come out. Realign yourself and go again. Breathing through, please. Holding for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come down. Okay, just be mindful from all these exercises. Okay, rest your body down, bent knees, please, feet directly under your back side. Check in with your hips, are they level? So I generally do a sweep across from lower to, to upper. Okay, knees are stacked, ankles stacked. Lift and lower and just place your hand on top of that um, upper hip and make sure that there, it's not pushing back as you lift that leg. So keep it in line with the, the lower hip. Good. Definitely a lot stiffer than the last time we were doing these classes. But uh, after a week or two, you should start to feel like you did when you were finishing the last term. So. And um, first few packs will be a shot, and then they will be okay. One more, please. Lovely stuff. Lengthen the legs, please. Tension through the thighs. Lift that leg and line with your hip. We're going to circle the leg forward. So as I say, go small with the circles, please, to make sure that you aren't rolling all over the place. You want stability there. Roll. Lovely stuff. Two, one, rest your head down fully as well and go back, please, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold your leg in line with your hip and we're going to pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, hold your leg in line with your hip. Feel a little burning sensation maybe or a little activation in around the inner hip socket. Good. Two and one, relax the leg down. Smack yourself if you need to. Finishing with the side plank on this side. Three, two, one into your side planks please. And lifting that arm. Good. Breathing through it. I'm going to check on you again. Make sure you're all doing well. And for these that are doing the recordings, Nicola, where are you going? <laughs> Get back. Well done. No hiding. I'm just looking straight ahead. We're going to hold for another five, four, three, two. Nicola's done a legger. One. And back down, please. Okay. Good stuff. Gotta come on to our back. Hope you're all okay. And we are coming, oh sorry, onto our front. My best, sorry. So onto our hands and knees, please. Hands directly under your shoulders and knees under your hips. Okay. We'll start with a cat cow. Be nice. I didn't put it in the plan, but I'm gonna put it in now. So relax your body. So stick that thumb away nice and relaxed. No tension held whatsoever. Feet are relaxed, okay? We're gonna take a breath in. And on the exhale, those that are new, if you need to watch, you're tucking your pelvis underneath you, okay? So you're rounding your lower back, okay? And you're pushing your mid spine towards the ceiling, so really push into the mat with your arms. 
And then last thing you do is lower your head down, looking at your leg. Okay. We're going to inhale as we bring our pelvis away. So stick your bum away. Soften, so arching your lower back. Stick your bum away as if you're shaking your bum with someone. And then your head comes up. Okay. We're going to stay for a breath in. And then we're going to move on the exhale. Tuck the pelvis. Eye line stays kind of where it is. Head is the last thing to come down fully. So you're really using your abs as well to draw your pelvis underneath you. We're going to open up on the inhale. Breathing in, breathing in, opening, opening, opening. Exhale to tuck. Relax your neck, please. Inhale to open. And exhale to tuck. Last three, inhale, exhale, and two. So your head and neck, or head and uh, pelvis are coming up together, and then you're tucking, you're starting leading with the pelvis as you tuck, and the head comes down last. Open up the two together as you come back up. Last one, exhale. Good. And then bring yourself back into a neutral space. So I don't want your bum fully to stick it away. I don't want it fully tucked. I want a flat back, okay? So my back is level, okay? So gentle tuck, not much of a tuck. I want you to tuck your toes underneath you, hands directly under your shoulders, okay? Three, two, one, you're going to lift your knees off the mat and you're going to hold this leg full front. And Stay in this position. So your lower leg should be just parallel to the mat. Okay, your knees are slightly lifted and level and hold. Breathing. Stomach muscles are active here completely to hold you in this position. Arms are firing up nicely. Nice bit of endurance, strength for the arms. Holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one lower down. Now, you thought you were getting away without any press ups. I don't think so, lad. All right, press ups it is. So, beginner press ups, just going to go through them. You're only doing 10 today. We'll build back up to 20 pretty quickly. So you're going to lower your chest down towards the floor. This is beginner, beginner, and come back up, okay? So, knees under your hips and bring the face down towards the mat. Bend the elbows and come back up. Intermediate is to bring the knees back. You bring your hips down lower, a nice straight line from your knees to your head, and then lower down and back up. And then you've got your advanced, is the full one, okay? So lower and lift, okay? So I'm going from the knees. Everyone else, you do what you feel you're capable of. Ideally, I would go with the knees, okay? We're gonna go for 10. When you're ready, three, two, one, lower and lift for 10, nine. Get your chest right down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your body down. We're reaching the arms nice and long. Feet a little bit separated, please. Bring your feet apart. Eye line is down. Squeeze the glutes a little bit, so activate the bum. Eye line looking down at the mat. We're going to take an inhale here, and on the exhale, I'm going to get you to lift arms and legs off the floor, holding this position. We're going to start to move the legs and arms up and down like you're swimming. Little flutter is not too big. Pelvis stays on the mat, so you're not rocking side to side too much. Engage the core, draw the belly button up, breathing. Okay, and just be mindful of the neck. As I say that, I'm in the I'm in correct position. So I lie down and breathing for five, four, three, two, one. Bring your hands underneath you and rest your head to the left side of the room. Feel your heart beating a little bit. Take a breather. A little bit stuff. From there, you're going to. Keep your hands where they are, so one on top of the other. And I want you to rest your forehead on top of your hands, okay? 
So we're gonna take a breath in. I want you to activate your glutes, so squeeze your bum. Draw your kneecaps up so you're activating the thigh muscles. Point your toes and coming up with your arms and lifting your head off the mat, bringing your chest up off the mat slightly, okay? Elbows back, upper body slightly lifted and holding. Visualize you the light shining from the, your neck and you're trying to shine it in the wall forward, in front of you, okay? So shining that light forward, holding, bring it down. Take a breath in, squeeze the glutes, activate the thighs, point the toes, keep the feet on the floor, and then lifting that upper body off the mat. Holding. And slowly come back in. Come back onto your hands and knees. We're going for leg pull front again. The knees directly under your hips, hands directly under your shoulders, please. Tuck in the toes. All right, so make sure those knees are under your hips. Ready, three, two, one, and lift, holding. Really feel that belly button drawn towards your spine, your rib cage is drawn downwards, and your stomach muscles are really engaged to hold you here, okay? So try and draw that as if the corset in front of you, you're drawing the, the strings nice and tight to protect you, knitting those abdominal muscles together, holding. Good. We're gonna stay for 10, nine, eight, Seven, come on, six, up you get as we come down. Three, two, gently come down. I'll give you a little shell stretch, okay? Just go back onto your heels, go wide at your knees, because we're going to press it again. And rest your head down. Nice little stretch. And then when you're ready, we're gonna come back up onto all fours again. Okay, tuck the toes, knees under the hips. When you're ready, three, two, one, up you come. We'll do this one more time and then it's press up, okay? Hold. Good, we're gonna finish with some, on this kind of, these exercises, we've got swimming, or press up swimming, press up, okay? Nearly there. Hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, gently come down. Shell stretch if you need it. We're gonna start our press ups in five, four, three, two, and go wide with your hands if you need to, and go chest to floor for 10, nine, eight, good, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lovely stuff. Onto your belly, long arms. We're gonna swim. When you're ready, just take a second for five, four, contract your glutes, get the legs active, and lifting those arms and legs, please. Hold. When you're ready, start to move the arms and the legs, please. I'm gonna go over and watch you. No escaping. Keep swimming, eye line down. Good. That's very good, Noreen, well done. Good. That's good, Barbara. If you feel there's too much in your back, that's good to rest your head down. Well done. Straighter arms, uh, Jean, there if you can. Swimming. Come on, you're the swimmer. <laughs> and three, two, one, relax. That left shoulder needs a bit of attention, Jean. <laughs> well done. Okay. Hope you're all okay. Nearly there. So we're finishing on this uh, few exercises with the press-ups and then we're moving on to our backs again, okay? So you've got five seconds to get into position. Four, three, two, and one, and go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
And one. Lovely stuff. Give yourself a shell stretch before we move on to our back, please. And reaching those arms out along. So bring your bum onto your heels. Rest your head down. Knees. And slowly coming back. And we're going to sit onto your back side, please. Okay, sitting up nice and tall. Bring your arse away from you, basically. So grab your foot arse on your left side and then your right side and pull it slightly behind you. So you're sitting on the bony part of your bottom, okay? Feet are down and toes are active. I want you to sit up nice and tall and just holding onto the front parts of your shins, okay? And just gently, gently pull on those shins just to lengthen your spine a little bit more. Just this to you, okay? So from here, I just want you to take a moment and just feel into the position and what way you're sitting. And if there's any aches or pains anywhere when you're doing this. And if there is, I want you to talk to me after class and I will tell you what to do. So if there is any aches or pains, lower back, mid back, neck or whatever, just let me know. Okay, feet are down and engaged. I want you to take a breath in here. On the exhale, I want you to sink down. So bring your rib cage down as if you're kind of slouching. Okay, like we generally sit. Okay, so slouch down. And I want you to roll away. Bring your chin to your chest and let, release your hands from your shins. They're on the outsides of your legs. Slowly draw your body away from your thighs and then lengthen through your torso with the further back you go. You'll get to a point where you feel that's far enough. If that's up here, that's fine. Just lengthen through that torso and resting your hands on your legs, just on the outside. If you need to hold your legs, that's fine. We're going to stay for a breath in. And on the exhale, I want you to tuck your chin to your chest. Draw your rib cage down, so sink through the stomach a little bit and pull yourself forward gently, coming up to a seated position again, nice and tall. Inhale, stay. Exhale, sinking down and rolling away. Bring your chin to your chest. As the further away you go, you lengthen out through your spine and your head comes up flat. Okay, again, visualize where your neck is in relation to your spine. You want a nice long spine. Inhale, exhale. Sink down, change chest, and coming forward, sitting up nice and tall. And moving up. Lengthen. Your abs should be firing here when you're extended through. Draw that belly button to spine. No pushing the stomach out. And then coming forward. Give me one more, please. And back. Okay, from there, we're going to take an inhale, and on the exhale, you're going to soften through the spine, come away, release your left hand, and reach back, looking at your left hand, okay? The obliques are going to work. Inhale to stay, exhale to come forward, back up to seated. And rotate to the other side, right side releases, follow your hand with your eyes, and back to center. And the other side. And back. And switch. Back. Switch. Keep going, please. Coming back to seated each time. If your back is actually just stay and round over your knees, got two more each side. Or sorry, one, one more each side, two more total. Last one. And back to center. Just hug your knees and rest your chest onto your, your thighs. And rest your head on your knees. Relax. Okay. okay. When you're ready, I want you to reach your arms out nice and long. We're going to take an inhale here. We're going to bring the ribs down. So soften through the stomach. So as I said, flesh, arms are lifted. And you're going to roll gently, gently, gently down. So if you need to hold the backs of your legs to support you, do. Softly come down. And then release the legs when you're ready. Okay. I want you to take a nice inhale to reach the arms back. Make sure you've got space. <laughs> inhale, 
And on the exhale, I want you to bring your arms long. We're not coming up all the way. And then I want you to come up slightly into ab prep as if you're trying to touch the outer part of your knee. So you're reaching. Inhale to come down with your head. Keep the legs straight. Reach back. Exhale to come up and touch the outer part of your thighs as if you're reaching towards your knee. Inhale to lower. Head rests down. Head is rested. Not the chin, so bring your chin down towards your chest and then lift. Inhale to come back down, reach the arms away. Exhale to come up and reach. Inhale. One more exercise after this. Exhale to reach. Two more reps. One more. And relax your head down. Bring your feet onto the mat. Bent knees, please. We have one more exercise and then we are done. Okay, so we're doing the 100. I can hear you all giving. Okay, we're finishing on the 100. Um, anyone that's new to the class, I would just get you to keep your feet on the mat and work through the 100, okay? Which is this movement. Head is lifted, arms are moving. Anyone that's uh, kind of new to it but has been doing it a little while I want your legs in tabletop position imprint of our back and then coming up and moving and anyone that's quite advanced can extend the legs and move through this okay so we will start together please feet on the mat take an imprint position so locking that lower back down no space between your lower back and the mat okay when you're ready those that are lifting the legs bring them up to tabletop Anyone that's new, just keep your feet on the floor for today, okay? We're going to take a breath in, and on the exhale, you're going to lift your head and reach your arms off the mat and long. You're going to start to move the arms up and down as you breathe in for four, three, two, one. If you want to extend the legs, do. In, four, three, two, and out. You can alternate as well. In, four, three, two, and out. Good. In, four, three, two, and out. In, four, three, two, and out, four, three, two, in, and out, nearly there, over halfway, in, and out, good, in, four, three, two, and out, in, four, three, two, and out, last ten, in, four, three, two, and out, hold, hold, bring the knees into your chest, and drop. Well done. Good class, everybody. Little stretch. So bring your left leg into your chest, right leg nice and long. And just hold it there, please. Wasn't too bad. Quite very easy, Annie. Okay. And then bring your knee to your opposite shoulder. Sorry, I shouldn't scare off anyone that's new. It wasn't. It was hard enough, but not too hard. Not as hard as there normally used to, but there's always ways around. I'm sure you'll have something to say about that though. Okay, swap legs and bring the opposite knee into your chest. And then bring that knee to your shoulder towards your opposite shoulder. Okay. And then slowly come up to seated when you're ready. And I want you to bring the soles of your feet together. All right. And wrap your hands around them and just kind of move the feet, rocking them forward and back. And from there, I want you to get your elbows, wrap your hands around your ankles and place your elbows on the inner knees and just again rocking side to side. To try and open up that inner hip area, doctor area. Good. You said rest is good for you. Feel okay, and then I want you to extend your left leg straight and sew the right foot in against your leg and then reaching down, okay?
go as far as you feel comfortable with. To your knee, that's fine. Chin, fine. Ankle, fine. Foot, fair play to you. <laughs> and just hold. And we're going to swap over. So right leg straight, left foot in against your your thigh, and then we're reaching down again towards your ankle if you can. In knee doesn't matter. Once your leg is straight, don't bend the knee. Okay. And we are going to do the mermaid. So I don't know if we did it on the other side actually. So bring your right leg in front of your left. And we're going to reach over. I forgot to do this side over here. We're reaching over. Lovely stretch on your side, your lower back. And come up and just go one more on this side. And we'll do the other side, we'll just do one on the other side. We did this one earlier. And reach. And slowly come up. One more stretch and then you are free. Hip flexors, please. Right leg behind, left leg in front. I'm going to lunge slightly into that front leg. Watch to squeeze the glute of the back leg, tuck the pelvis a little bit, and then reach that arm towards the ceiling of the, of the leg that's behind you, that arm towards the ceiling. So you get a nice stretch on the front of the hip, high area. Don't push it. Let me go as far as feels comfy. And slowly come out, we'll do the opposite side. So gentle tuck of the pelvis. Squeeze the bum, slowly come forward, release the arm. For five, four, three, two, one. Well done, everyone. Quick hello. See how you get on. Uh, 